Hey guys, Jason here for Chart Guys. In this video, I'm gonna have a lot of fun exploring the concepts of trading indicators. What does AI believe to be the most important trading tools that a new trader can utilize? That's what I'm gonna ask it. It's gonna tell me. We're gonna work through some questions and answers with the AI. And at the end of this video, I am gonna provide you with a checklist and a workflow according to the instructions that the AI gives us. And I've also got a little bit of an indicator here based on the indicators that the AI wants brand new traders to use. So let's get into our conversations with the AI. In my last video, we asked the AI model to make us a trading indicator slash strategy, and it was reasonably successful. We had some fun. What I want to do today is a little bit different. I'm going to be asking ChatGTP to come up with a set of trading rules or concepts, top three things a brand new trader should be focusing on. We're going to define what those rules are just a little bit, and then we're going to try to make ourselves a chart layout with that information on it that you'll be able to access at the end of the video, probably in the description field below if you're listening to this right now. If we are particularly lucky and feeling spicy, we will try to make it into a chart indicator as well. So what I'm going to do first is just ask the bot, what are the most important things, the top three things that a brand new trader should be focusing on to find success in trading? Let's do it. I'm going to give the AI a little bit of a prompt here, and I'm going to ask it, as an instructor teaching brand new students, what are the top three most important indicators that someone should focus on in order to find success as a day trader? Okay, so the AI has given us its three basic indicators. Moving averages, no surprise. RSI, again, no surprise. And then Bollinger Bands, which is a little bit interesting. Doesn't come into my regular trading, but I'm interested to see what the AI means by each of these and how it wants us to use them. That's going to be our first major step in defining a set of rules that we can use. So let's ask it about moving averages. How are we going to use these things and which ones are the most important? So how should a new trader use moving averages and which ones matter the most? So the AI has given us some basic concepts, um, plotting averages on a chart to, to define trend direction, identify support and resistance levels, and even stop loss and take profit levels. But what I don't like is it's recommending the 50 day and 200 day. Let's see if we can narrow that down for a little bit for day traders. All right, so we're gonna ask what the best EMAs or moving averages are for intraday trading on the five minute time frame. All right, so now we've got a little bit more clarity. On the five minute time frame, the AI is recommending a 10, 20, and 50 moving averages. I personally use the 12 and 26 EMAs. I'm wondering why moving averages are not exponential moving averages. All right, I'm going to save you reading all that. Basically, the AI says it's simpler, stupid. Why complicate things? There are new traders. So yeah, we're going to go with the 10 and 20 MA. So what are some trading rules for using the 10 and 20 period moving average on the five minute time frame? Okay, so we've got two basic concepts that we're going to focus on of the four points. Identifying a trend when the 10 is above the 20, we're in a bullish environment. When 10 below is 20, we're in a bearish environment. And we're going to look for crossovers. When that 10 crosses above the 20, that's a good signal for an entry. And when our 10 crosses below our 20, that's going to be a bearish signal. Simple enough, let's add it to our trading rules. All right, so I've defined two rules. When the 10 is above the 20, it's considered bullish and supports long entries. When the 10 is below the 20, it is considered bearish and supports bearish entries. And when we have a 10 crossing above the 20, it's a buy signal, and a 10 crossing below 20, it is a sell signal. I am gonna ask the AI to confirm this. Okay, perfect, um, we are correct. Next up, we're gonna ask about the RSI. So if we go back up here, we can see, where is that conversation now? Moving backwards, all right. A momentum indicator, the RSI is a momentum indicator that measures speed and change of price movements. Okay, so how does the new trader use the RSI? So the AI has given us a basic set of rules. Readings above 70 are considered overbought, and readings below are considered oversold. Looking for divergences, confirmations. Hmm, we're gonna need a little bit of simplification. I'm going to ask the AI how we can decide on some long or short entries based on RSI. Error, reload. All right, we're running into some errors still, but you know what? The AI gave us enough to work with. We're going to take this first simple rule, oversold and overbought conditions, RSI above 70, overbought. So we'll look for short entries and RSI is below 30, considered oversold. We're going to look for long entries, so we'll write that rule up. All right, no need to confirm that one. Pretty simple. Now let's talk about Bollinger Bands. How can a new trader use Bollinger Bands to make trade decisions? Okay, so the AI has given us a little primer on what Bollinger Bands are. Moving averages with some standard deviation ranges and those upper ranges and those lower ranges can show us essentially 
according to rule number three here, we can look for reversals. They're gonna act as overbought or oversold indicators. And when we touch one of these levels, we can look for short-term reversals. So that's the rule we're gonna stick with, rule number four. All right, rule four, when the price touches the upper Bollinger Band, it can be considered overbought and a sign for a reversal and short entry. And when price touches a lower Bollinger Band, it can be considered oversold and a sign for reversal and long entry. So this is four rules. Let's see if the AI is gonna confirm for us that this is indeed what it is recommending. That's the basic strategy. All right, the AI has confirmed that this is a good strategy, uh, but it's also giving us a, a pretty important disclaimer that it's important to note that no strategy guarantees any profits, but I hope you know that already, just in case. Let's talk about it for a second. All right, we talked about it. Okay, let's create ourselves a chart layout that we can share that incorporates this strategy. Okay, so we're gonna make a brand new layout here on TradingView, and we're gonna call this beauty AI layout. Okay, first things first, we're gonna add those moving averages. All right, so now we've got ourselves our moving averages on the chart. All right, next up, we're gonna add our RSI. This one's relatively easy. Next up, we have our Bollinger Bands. We're gonna plug those guys in. All right, so now we have a basic layout that utilizes the top three indicators as recommended by the AI for brand new traders, and we've implemented them onto a chart layout that's gonna be available for you if you wanna use it. Let's go through the three indicators here. We can see that we have an RSI oversold condition and an overbought condition. In this case, we have one example, our five minute time frame dipped into oversold conditions, a sub 30, triggering an alert that we set or would have. And then we see that reversal potential play out with a nice bounce. That bounce worked out pretty well in this case, coincided with a Bollinger Band oversold position. And that reversal itself and it also ran up to the upper Bollinger Band position before reversing back down into the green line, in which case we saw another reversal. So in all in all, not a bad little system. Some nice visual cues for overbought and oversold conditions. So we've covered our RSI, we've covered our Bollinger Bands. What else do we have on here? We have our moving averages. In this case, we have our blue line, which is our 10 moving average, and we have our red line, which is our 20. When we have our blue line below our 10, we know that's a bearish environment. And when we cross over, there's a signal for a longer entry. And when we cross under, it's a signal that we're gonna be bearish for a while. So all in all, Pretty cool, relatively simple trading setup, but what else would you want as a new trader? Some nice tools to work with and certainly an excellent place to start. Let's take it one step further. I'm gonna create an indicator for you guys that uses these ideas and makes a nice visual system for you. So let's add rules one, two, three, and four to the indicator and uh, wrap up this video. Okay, for rule one and two, we've combined them into this little visualization, not really an indicator. But what it does is it tells us when we have a switch from a bullish supporting EMA to a bearish supporting EMA, and we know the crossover occurs when the color switches. So two in one combo there. Let's see if we can add Bollinger Bands. Okay, the two remaining components have been added to our AI tools indicator. We already had our EMAs. Now we have an indication of when we have overbought conditions and oversold conditions on our RSI. We can see that when the red bar here is filling up the background, we have five minute oversold conditions. And if we run over to, oh, well, where's a good spot here? All right, five minute overbought conditions right here. We have a green background. We also have an indicator for when our Bollinger Bands are being exceeded. When we have a Bollinger Band being exceeded to the downside, so the price is crossing below our lower Bollinger Band, we get our green arrow here indicating that we have oversold positions and we're likely to see a little bit of upside. And then we've got a red arrow up here when we price closes above our Bollinger Band indicating we should see a short-term reversal. So there we go. We have all of our AI trading tools in one clever little bundle here and I'm gonna be including it on the indicator for you. So feel free to add that to your charts and play with it to your heart's content and uh, let me know what you think of it. Hopefully it's useful for you. I appreciate you guys sticking through the video and um, enjoyed bumbling my way through this pine code. Uh, uh, thank you again. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comments and let me know what you wanna see next as far as chat GPT goes and trading questions.